Hello YouTube, this is Dragonheart and welcome to the Aravaki campaign for Total War Room 2, Hannibal at the Gates. Now, in the previous episode we took Massilia from the Gallic Confederation and here you can see on the campaign map they are currently suffering attrition. These are basically the remnants, you got a bit of lag there, the remnants from the battle which we fought previously. We are currently suffering minus 11 public order so we want to uh, sort that out. We'll need to convert some of these buildings in the next turn. Now, let's quickly check diplomacy before I click on end turn. We are still at war with the Gallic Confederation, but they're nothing to worry about now. And we have Carthage, which we're trading with. We have the Masili. The Insaburez, we're going to wipe them out next, I think. We're going to go north and take that, and eventually I'll sweep down into Italy and go for Rome itself. So, I shall click the end turn button. Ooh, what is this? Right. Abucatos, okay, where is he? Is he over here? He is. He's not, that's weird. Are my spies, maybe? How can I assist uh, oh my I god, where is he? Ah, there we are. Right, let's, let's get that experience going. We'll go for one on cunning, and then I will pick end turn. A bit concerned because I just loaded this, this game up now with my save file, and it took forever to load up. I'm not sure where this to do with patch 12 being updated. Maybe it is, maybe it isn't, I don't know. I'm sure we'll find out soon enough. Oh, what are they doing? Are they attacking me? They may be. Oh, the silly idiots. We're not going to fight this because there isn't any point. We're going to auto-resolve this and we will go for a aggressive stance. There we go, lovely. Ooh, that's going to hurt in the morning. He is down for the count. We have one and I shall... I'll release the captives because it gives you better uh, relations with other factions when you continuously release prisoners in this game. If you keep killing prisoners then you get like a minus one or two percent each time you do it with other factions. It's a handy tip to take note of. Anyway, back to this. So, oh, there's a lag. There we go. That's better. We want to go for melee defense for all units, I think. Now. How many lands do our friends in the north have? Looks like they have two. Both of them are towns. Should be able to take them pretty pretty quickly. Now let's look at our objective. So we have four out of six here for the Aravaki Peninsula. I could go for the Sea Ward and get some of these lands. And I got the red tape for at least six of the civil technologies. So that's our mini objectives, the actual ultimate objectives. We still have three more to go. Africa, Latium et Campania, and Hispania Ulterior. We also need to maintain 100 units, and we currently have 73. So plenty of stuff for us to do in this campaign. Now what I want to do first of all is convert these buildings. So we're going to convert that. We want to get Hele Hellenic, not Hellenic, uh, what is it? Iberian, Iberian of course. We want to get Iberian culture, there it is, Grove of Endo Vilicus. and we got two of these here, do we need two of them? I don't know, probably don't, we'll just go for a different public order one in this case, they all take up food apart from this one, food could be handy I guess, I'll go for that one, why not, it's going to take three turns and five turns for them, now if I move this army out of Nemausus, what will happen to me? Public order is still fine, excellent. We're going to move this army in that case all the way along here for now. Away from those damn spies. I was thinking that those spies would have probably disappeared, but I think they may have a navy down here. Let's see. Do they have a navy? I don't see any navies. Ah, there we go. That's why. Oh, I think we should be kind and wipe them out. I will resolve this. It would be kind of boring to watch this. My game is lagging like hell. I, I have no idea why. It's a bit of a concern. Here we go. We're we going to kill the captives. We'll kill them this time. Just for the sake of it. Oh, naval traditions as well. Excellent. Like I care about naval traditions. I don't. I hate navies. Okay. Get that off my chest right now. I actually hate naval battles in this game. I wasn't keen on them in Shogun 2, to be honest. But anyway, removing that naval uh, navy has removed the two spies outside of Nemausus. Speaking of spies, we can now utilize mine as well. 
So I think we're going to scout ahead with both of them. We're going to be using these to take out these lands up here. I know I should probably go for the lands I need to get and probably go to over Carthage right now, but I'm happy to go around and take the rest of the lands in this campaign right now. So we have 2,000 coming in next turn. We have currently have 462. Just going to check my provinces around here. Gallia Transalpina, everything is great. We have those those uh, groves and shrines up in the next few turns as well. Oh, minus three, public order right now, it's not good. Where am I? Replenishing as well, which is good. And what else do I have? Now, I have... Let's see. Forces. So, these are the Reach of Candamius and the Champions of Ebora. Okay, that's them. I have an army here in Tolosa. Which I need to keep, I think, as well. Yeah, I'll keep all the Gallia ones there. Bit of Gala. Public order is reasonable. Let's see. Pull them out. Yeah, Republic order will be fine. This army, in that case, is going to be moving to the south over here. These are my next two turns, basically. The next kind of five to ten turns is planning my war with Carthage while I currently go and take the northern part of Italy. I'm just going to check the public order in all these places to make sure I can remove armies. So we'll have like two of them now outside Saguntum, so I can weave my way down towards Saguntum and Elissi, and then eventually Carthago Nova. And of course, Gades down here. I need something for Gades. I actually have a building slot for Kartuva, so we may as well expand that now, now that we have money. We can't do it at the moment, but next turn we will build something in Kartuva as well. And there's oh Elisipo. I can also build something in Elisipo. So next turn we'll we'll focus on that. I don't want to get slums. They're bloody nuisance slums are. I think that's most of my armies. I do have. Oh my god, the lag is probably unbearable to watch right now. I do apologise, guys, but this game is kind of shit when it comes to to lagging. Okay, and we have an army here then in Rutabus. I could carry on recruiting units. I'm not going to bother for now. I think we are okay like we are. So I'm going to click end turn and hope that Carthage doesn't wage war on me yet. I think with this campaign I'll probably continue it all the way until I take every everybody's land. Depends how I feel when how I depends how I feel really in the later stages of this campaign if I think it's worth to carry on once I've achieved my my victory objectives then that's what I will will be doing. Okay, we've got a navy there. We can use this navy against Carthage as well. Right, we're going to take this army just to the border for now. There we go, lovely. And seasonal conditions. Public order zero at the moment. We can actually build loads of stuff here. Let's get the spies on the go though. Let's get this one up to Genoa, and this one's going to go up to whatever that place is called. What is it? Vercelli? Yeah, Vercelli. Okay, what we got? We got four units there, one there. 12 and 2 there, and then we have, don't know what we have there at the moment, so that's fine. And just double check all this a second. Ah, of course. Uh, down here, was it Tolleton? No, Cartuva, there it is. Want to expand here. Public order, we, well, public order, we could do public order actually because we are suffering a little bit at the moment. End of Elis, Grove NATO, Sacred Enclosure maybe? Yeah, the, public, the more public order I have in Kartuba, the better for now. And we're going to do the same in Olisipo. We're going to expand this. And we're going to get some some nice public order as well. For now, just going to upgrade everything. Get a farm, maybe. Another public order. Uh, maybe not. Rutabus. We can actually expand Rutabus. Grove of NATO. We want over into Lucas. Where is it? No, we want. We we'll go for a Grove of Opponent because it gives us a garrison of tribesmen and skirmishers. I think I'll do for now. So we go all the way up here. And this army, where's it gone? I've lost it. We can move this one down here now. It should be good. Plans for the future. 
will soon be coming to fruition, I think. And now we're going to click end turn. And see what happens in this end turn phase. And hopefully my plans will will work. Our hidden agent exposed, Moritex, okay. Oops, oops, oh my god, right. That wasn't good. I do not think we're going to start using our spies. So to begin with, let's send this one up north to Versailles. Versailles. And we're going to go and sabotage, poison the wells, why not? A little bit of sabotage doesn't hurt anybody. Boom, excellent. We may have leveled up here. Have we? Have we not? Ooh, nearly, not quite. And the same here, I think we, ooh, we can actually attack this army in Force March. We're going to sabotage. We're going to poison your wells as well. Oh, failed. Useless. Damn it. Ooh, we nearly leveled up with him. I find it weird how you can nearly level up when you're when you fail, it doesn't really make sense. Anyway, we're going to wage war with these now, so this is what we're going to plan for the next episode. So straight away, off the bat, we're going to go declare war. Oh, they got allies, the boy eye. Didn't consider that. Where are the boy eyes, who? They have placentia. Well, it doesn't make much difference, really. Oh, the Celtic Confederation, I have Patavium. Where's Patavium to? Ah, over here. <laughs> Sneaky, sneaky, sneaky. Okay, that's great. Like I tell you what, guys, it's going to be a short episode this one, but it was to put the plan in place. Now I will be waging war in the next part against these, but I'm going to cut the episode a little bit short because the lag is quite difficult to play with at the moment. But hopefully that will be rectified in the next episode, and we have lots to look forward to in our future wars in the Alps. So I'm going to end the episode here. I've been Dragonheart. Hope you all enjoyed. Until next time. Goodbye.